Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its parking sensors. You also have your heated and cooled front seats along with your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. You have your chrome accents on there as well and you'll find your plug-in block heater just located in the center there. You have your parking sensors. Over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your running boards. Taking a look up top you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors. And the other nice thing is you do have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it on once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your uh, driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look over on the left hand side you have your mirror controls, you have your parking sensors on and off, window wiper de-icer and your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. Window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows along with your seat memory controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function as well as your mode select volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition, and your display with your cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at some of the additional features you'll see here on the multi-informational display, you'll see your speedometer, you'll also have your settings menu, average fuel economy, and a couple of other additional features in here as well. Now you also have a digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge just by your odometer reading there and taking a closer look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display you'll see a couple of different options on here which include your digital clock, hazard lights and then if you go inside the apps menu you'll see your navigation, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You have the dual zone climate control settings as well as your temperature controls. You have that premium JBL sound system and then down below you'll see your USB and auxiliary input with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger, your power outlet, 4x4 select, matted to an automatic transmission. You'll also find your open and close for your power rear window. And if we take a look just at the top here, you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of the controls you'll see up top here include your integrated garage door opener, traction control on off, A-track downhill assist control, along with your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof, with your sunglass case holder, and I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your foreigner emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. But over on your right hand side, you'll see that rear cargo power outlet. So if you're ever out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend, you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like to plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. If you need more additional space, you can actually fold down that rear seat as well. If you want, you can actually cover up your uh, valuables just with that cargo cover as well, just so people can't see what you have in the back there just while you're going from place to place. You also have the cargo liner in the back here, so one of the nice things with the cargo liner is if you spill any liquids back here, it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards just because you can have it removed and clean it properly afterwards. Now the other nice thing is that you can actually open up the power rear window from the outside here so as long as you have the key fob on you at all times all you have to do is just hold down on the down button and it will roll down for you automatically but you want to make sure you hold down on the button otherwise it's not going to roll down completely because if you let go part way it'll actually keep itself part way open and then when you're all finished up you can actually close it up this way as well. The other nice thing with that is if you forget to actually lock up your doors don't worry because when you close up the window this way it'll actually lock the doors automatically for you. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2017 Toyota 4Runner Limited, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.